Hello, I'm just briefly going to get into Adobe Connect and then show you a little bit about what you can do to troubleshoot audio issues. Uh, I know that they come up. There's not a lot that I can do and there's not actually a lot that you can do either, but there's a couple little things. So I'm just gonna show that stuff to you really quickly. So first, let's pop into one of the classes that is doing those this semester. Um, I'll just grab 401 out of my long list of classes. And then again, my interface will look a tiny bit different than yours since I'm an instructor. And then you can always find Adobe Connect under class tools in any of our leadership classes. So let it load. And also I'll take this time while it's loading to talk to you about headsets. So a couple of you um, are using, I think I have them nearby, even though my, my little side, my little webcam's teensy, um, things like this that came with your iPhones or your phones or whatever. And that's okay, except a lot of times what I find with students is the mic is this tiny little hole on the back of the, of the controls, right? And that gets away from you. And then it's not close to your mouth or you're moving or you're looking at your notes and all of a sudden we can't hear you, but you don't know we can't hear you. Um, so that can be a problem. It also typically is not noise canceling so it can be a real issue for everyone if you happen to be in a loud place or if you um, if something becomes loud in your environment while you're talking or things like that so just keep that in mind that's why this is so great uh, there are things happening in my home at the moment <laughs> so where I'm recording this video but you can't hear them and that's a very good thing and it's because I'm using a, a nicer headset uh, and I'm using one with noise canceling features it also makes my voice a little more even which is helpful I think too so if we join this meeting it will take again some time to load I prefer to have installed the app that opens it in its own window so that it actually doesn't stay in my web browser at all uh, which is why it's doing what it's doing right now um, but so it so it looks like it's not working but it is and because I'm recording it's taking longer than it normally would but so it uh, that's the way I prefer to do it the one thing you have to be really careful of is that you don't close that window because if you do you're out and so the other thing is unfortunately with Adobe Connect the answer is often um, a very typical uh, and here's the leftovers of my last class, but a very typical um, turn it off and back on will fix a lot of options. And so it sounds really silly because it's like, oh, that's all I have to do. And yes, often that is all you have to do. So it is, I will regularly give you the um, typical IT answer of, have you turned it on and off again? And the best things you can do is log out and log back in. If all of a sudden you can't see the chats or something like that, log out, log back in. And I recognize that that happens occasionally. I'll just be watching to see that you come back pretty quickly. Uh, so the first thing you wanna do is go to, and I believe it looks the same for for participants as well as hosts. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry. Go to the audio setup wizard and run that. I'm not gonna do that in front of you because it's miserable. And the other thing to pay attention to is the button options that you have. I believe for you guys, they're typically up on the top left. And for me, they're up here with all of the other options for setup that I have. So you can turn up your mic, you can select which microphone you use usually. And for me, of course, I don't wanna go through my webcam because my webcam is located right there that would be a problem uh, that would mean all of the noise in the room would be picked up um, just like I said with those other headsets that's the same issue sometimes it wouldn't just be my voice um, and it would also typically it's much worse quality and I'm less clear things like that so I definitely want to make sure that it's my headset which is the Jabra right uh, same thing for speakers so unfortunately they don't have a choose your speaker option why I don't know but a lot of students need that so if when you log on it's using your mic but for some reason it's coming through your computer speakers instead of your ears that's horrible because that'll give us feedback and also an echo whenever you have your stuff on very bad right that's why you're supposed to have a headset well 
that you can't pick. So typically you can fix that in the audio setup wizard sometimes, and if it doesn't give you the option to do so and you can't find a way to fix it in preferences, the other thing you should be aware of um, is that you can on your computer, and this is different for all computers, which is again why I am not your troubleshooter. IT is because they will have access to an interface that helps them figure out how you do this on all kinds of different computers. I know how to do it on mine. That's it. <laughs> so, but typically you have an, a way to control your sound settings right on your machine. So it's where you would go to mute your computer if you needed to mute it or something like that. Mine is down in the bottom right. And here you can see that it's designating my speakers as my headset because again my headset is a Jabra so that's what it's doing now if I wanted to change that I would right click on this and for mine I could pick any of these options but in this case it's called playback devices okay I don't know why it's not called speakers but it's not um, and then it tells me all the speakers I have hooked up right now for some reason it thinks I have headphones hooked up that aren't my Jabra, whatever. But as you can see here, I have set the Jabra as my default device. And the reason I did that is because I was teaching a lot this week. So I was having lots of meetings with my headset on. Um, and that meant I needed this to be default because then it's also the default in Adobe Connect. And that's really important. So a few weird little things about that. If you just plug them in and try to immediately set it as default all while you're opening Adobe Connect, sometimes that will screw it up and you'll need to restart Adobe Connect and, and everything will work then. So in other words, give your set your system time to register that that's what you've plugged in if you you know are plugging it into the USB before you get started or the headset jack. Um, give your computer time to go, oh, there's a new thing plugged in. Then connect. And also if you have trouble or if it's going through the wrong place, change your default, log out, log back in, and hopefully then you're golden. So far this has worked for most students that have had trouble. If it doesn't, call 24-7 IT. When you call them, if it makes you late to class, if it means that they can't figure it out and you spend 20 minutes with them instead of in session with me, just get a log of the fact that you talk to them. Typically they email you, but make sure that they do. Turn that in to me, into typically I have a Dropbox for grade disputes. Turn it in there so that I'll go into D2L, see that you had a valid reason for missing the session, and will grade you accordingly, because it's not your fault if the tech fails. Um, but it is if you don't document and show me that you tried to be there really, really hard. Okay, so uh, hopefully this will help everyone have amazing sound during our live discussions for the rest of the semester.